Apex just released a new activity called Fish Flingers. Now, as I've been told, this activity is like the fishing evil tree. It, you know how the evil tree is for woodcutting. It's kind of like that for fishing. Um, this can be done 10 times a week. And once you hit that 10 time limit, you can't play it anymore until the week like resets itself or something. Now, every competition run is every 90 minutes. The waiting room for this competition is open five minutes before the competition will start. So every 90 minutes, a new competition will start. Now, during these competitions, you can you know, use different kind of hooks, different kind of baits. To get to one of these competitions, you're going to have to talk to one of the expert farmers at Catherby Fishing Area or inside or outside of the Fishing Guild. Now, they did put it outside of the Fishing Guild because some people aren't actually able to get into the fishing guild yet and there's also no requirements to this so that's good for anyone that doesn't have you know one plus fishing and wants to actually fish <laughs> so that's what kind of was like okay why did they do this you know for me um, I'm already at 99 fishing so I'm not really gonna fuck with this because I made a pretty much a solemn vow I'm not really gonna fish until I have all other 99s and I just see it you know as pointless to me um but yeah you can go every 90 minutes or it'll happen every 90 minutes uh, you can go in before um, like five minutes before the competition actually starts different kind of hooks different kind of exotic fish you know from everywhere pretty much uh, the rewards from this are going to be like certain kinds of fish, uh, you get a tackle box, and uh, you get some fishing experience too, which is pretty cool. Now, into the other news. And I'm so glad that I got past that because it took me like fucking, I don't know, how many tries for a video, but yeah. Now, the Rune Guardian pets from the Rune Mechan Mechanics quest will now change the color when you use them on any Rune Crafting altar but Arn Arena. To get a new Black Rune Guardian, um, talk to Cleverell. After storing your current Guardian in your POH Menagrin. Men. Mena. Gary! <laughs> Rune Guardian pets are also able to change the energies of the four elemental altars air, water, earth, and fire into infinity robes, which I was like, fuck you. Yeah because I wanted the infinity robes to change in the last update. Now, I really don't know when they're going to change the dark bow colors or tell us about the dark bow color changes, but they were able to change the infinity robes before they actually changed the dark bow. So that's cool. And before I get too off topic with this, the you know you can now change the colors in your infinity robes, and I guess this would be like white, blue, brown, and red. Uh, the number of pets that you can store in your player-owned house, Mandarin, Me Menegranian, I don't really know how to speak the English language, especially when Jagex makes this word, so I'm just going to wing it, um, has been increased from 10 to 15. But only if you've built a mahogany bird feeder and you have a consecrated desecrated or natural pet house. You can now store a helmet of trials and a mask of Dregeth, which is got from the new quest, um, like in your POH costume room now. After completing the making history quest, you can now reobtain, yeah, fuck it, I'm, I'm not even going to try to say that word. It's like it's an M and a J together, and it's just like, no, that's not happening to my brain. Or the English language for, you know, all that it's worth. You can now buy a replacement key after completing the quest to allow you to find another bleh word. I'll put it in an annotation if you really want to know what it is or if you know how to say it. You can use extreme herb lore potions in Clan Wars now, which is pretty cool, uh, providing that the potions option is on and that the dangerous option is off. Now, any players who have built multiple Shattered Heart statues in the player-owned house will find that they have been removed. Now, if I would have built multiple 
um, Shattered Heart statues and now finding out that they've been removed, I would be so pissed right now. I would be infuriated because those are really, really hard to make. And they're just like, oh, by the way, um, yeah, fuck y'all. We're taking those out. So I would be super pissed if I had already made a few statues. Um, the statues, wait, as soon as you rebuild the statue in your study, the statues will re be rebuilt to its previous state. If you had already removed a duplicate statue, any progress will have been lost. So whatever that means is whatever it means, and I don't know what it is because I didn't build any fucking statues yet, but y'all who did build statues know what it means. I think if you build a full statue, it gives like 300k experience to every stat. Can't really be completely sure on that. It's not really verified, um, but that's what I heard. So that's pretty cool. I hope they're not talking about any progress like that had been lost. But I'd be pretty pissed if that had been lost. Um, now, I usually go on blog TV after my video. But I will not be going on blog TV after this video because I need to make a few more videos. Because I'm feeling a lot better. And I just really want to get them out of the way and do them. And, you know, so you'll be seeing those videos today. So lucky y'all. Um, and I wanted to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped, um, even in the slightest bit. But if it did help at all, make sure to rate it. Um, and, you know, check out my underbar now since Jagex, or not Jagex, but the YouTube Google company did the little video layout update thing. So make sure to check that out. And also subscribe. If you aren't already subscribed yet and you want to see more helpful videos or more, you know, whatever videos about RuneScape. Um, so, yeah, that's my video, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank Eric for making the intro to this video. I would also like to thank Zoc and Owned a Baby for telling me some about this update today.